Hello everyone, and welcome back to Twitch Plays Pokemon Daily Update. This evening, we will be going over the events of Day 14. As we last left our intrepid hero, Red, he was training in the noxious and hellish Pokemon Mansion. During the grind, our god, Almanite, tried to evolve, but was stopped by the chat. Are we not yet capable of wielding his full potential? Not much happens, although after the first four hours of day 14 are spent doing a Poke workout, our team's levels are as follows. Bird Jesus the Pidgeot is at level 64, Fawns the Nidoking is at 42, Air the Lapras is at 24, ATV the Venomoth is at 36, AJ the Zapdos is 65, and Helix the Almanite is level 40. We get tired of this monotony and decide to relax on our god as we surf him towards Pallet. After about 40 minutes and a quick detour to a small raft island, we make it to Pallet and don't heal. Ten minutes later, we're in Viridian City and also don't heal there. We last healed in Cinnabar. Hope that doesn't come back to bite us. Remarkably, in Anarchy, after only a few tries, we are able to surpass the Route 22 ledge and enter Indigo Plateau shortly thereafter, Victory Road. After four hours of battling wild Pokemon in Victory Road, struggling to push boulders and listening to Bulbasaur cry, it eventually takes its toll as we black out and end up back in Cinnabar. I've always wondered about this. Did someone carry us back there? Did Red rush his Pokemon all the way past Viridian and his mom and Pallet just to heal specifically in Cinnabar? The world may never know. We wake up and understand we had a reason for not healing at Pallet or Viridian. If the first attempt at Victory Road failed, Cinnabar was best for more training. Do not ever question the actions of the hive mind. So back to the Pokemon Mansion we go, where Lapras forgets her dream to be a pop singer and replaces it with the prospect of being a full contact wrestler with Body Slam. Stream goes down, stream comes up. Anarchy goes down, anarchy comes up. The hive mind is torn between more grinding at Pokemon Mansion and trying to accomplish some detoury type things. Red should probably pick up some groceries while he's at it. I mean, seriously, has he eaten at all? Anyway, we make a decision and it's back to the old grind. Now we're finally able to manage Almanite's evolution and he turns into Omastar. Surely he'll shine just as bright as his name and godly status imply. His first godly act is somehow letting Red manage to fish properly and successfully. It was a Goldeen that Air quickly filleted. At 21 hours in, all levels have stayed the same except the Fonz is now level 47, AJ is now level 66, Air is now level 26, and Helix is now 41 as well as being an Almastar now. All aboard the SS Helix, it's a 5 star cruise liner. We stop off at Fatman Island to catch up with our favorite bulky fishermen before continuing to head up towards Pallet. Once reaching Pallet, we just kind of wander around a little bit. We finally decide to go into our house, get to the PC, and withdraw everything from our home PC, including strength and the Poke Flute. However, we do spend the next hour inside of our house, anarchy and democracy bickering, swapping control back and forth, and nothing really important is accomplished. While swapping between anarchy and democracy, democracy does deposit every single item Red had, so now we don't have the Poke Flute, but we also don't have strength to teach the Fonz. We end up cutting our losses, leaving our house, arriving in Viridian, and attempting to get into the Indigo Plateau once again. And this is how our day ends. Thank you for listening. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you want more people to know about Twitch Plays Pokemon or these videos, feel free to give it a share, a favorite it, tell everyone you know about it. Also, you may feel free to subscribe for these videos or in anticipation of other Pokemon videos that I will be putting out later on. Before I end this off today, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to me, left comments on my videos, gave them thumbs up, favorited them, shared them, anything. It really means a lot that you're all supporting this video and the daily updates that I've been putting out. Hopefully you guys will like the other content I'll be putting out later, but I'm really glad you guys are supporting me in what I'm doing now. Once again, thank you all for listening to this video, and don't forget to praise Helix.